Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to set up the mobile info bar in your Squarespace website. Now at the time of recording this, that's a feature only available in business and commerce plans. But if you've got that enabled, we can add a mobile info bar that's going to look like this on the mobile version of your Squarespace website. We can customize all kinds of content on here, so let's go ahead and hop into Squarespace and I'll show you how to set this up step by super simple step. Here we are inside Squarespace. I am using version 7.1, but this tutorial will work for any version of Squarespace, even legacy sites built on version 7. We're going to navigate to Settings, and then I want you to select Mobile Information Bar. This is where you can enable the mobile information bar in either a light or a dark color scheme. We'll go ahead and select Light, and if we scroll down here, there are four main options that we can add. We can have it show an email, phone number, location, and business hours. All of the information displayed here is added to Squarespace under our business information. But we can go ahead and select add email right here from the mobile info bar menu. We'll select save and it'll take us to that business information tab under our settings. Now here you can enter in a phone number, enter in a contact email, enter in an address. As soon as you start typing an address, it'll prompt you with a few other suggestions directly from Google. I'm going to go ahead and click on this one and you'll notice it has powered by Google and it will update the map below to display the address that you've selected. I strongly recommend choosing one that's visible on a map. Now if we scroll down here, our last option is to enter the hours. If you don't list anything, it will say closed, but you have a couple of different options for how to enter that information. We'll go ahead and copy these right out of Squarespace. This is we're open 8 to 5 on Monday. This one right here says we'd have a two hour break between 5 p.m. and 7 p.m. This one here shows overnight on Wednesdays will be open from 10 p.m. all the way to 3 a.m. on Tuesday. We can also say open or all day or just type in the text closed. After you've added your business hours, your business address, your contact email and your phone number, select save. Now, before we check out that mobile information bar, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to get to that business information one last time. From our main menu, we can select settings. And instead of immediately hopping into mobile information bar, if you go ahead and select business information right here, you'll be taken to all of those options. Again, we have phone number, contact email, physical location, and business hours. After you've entered in your information from our settings menu, click mobile info bar. Now, if we scroll down again, we have it enabled. I set it to light mode, but you can also select dark if you want. You can toggle on to show email, show phone number, show location and show business hours. You don't have to do all four. Let's say you only want to show email and phone number. You can toggle off those options and those will be the only two that show up at the bottom of the screen on a mobile device. Now change this to dark mode. You can also select light mode or you can use custom CSS to change those colors. I have tutorial videos linked in the description below. I'll select save and show you how we got there one last time. From our main menu, I want you to select settings and then select mobile information bar. This right here is where you can enable the option in either light or dark mode, and then you can decide what information you want to have displayed. Email, phone number, location, or business hours. I'd like to show you here, if we toggle on location and actually click on that icon, this is where your users will see. They'll be shown the full screen map, and they'll also see your address underneath it. If you toggle that off, you'll only have email or call. Show business hours also has a different menu. When we click on hours, the hours will be displayed, and this will update to see whether or not you're currently open or closed. Kind of a cool feature for physical locations. And a quick reminder to edit this information, you need to go to settings business information. But if you're already here on the mobile info bar panel, just select edit one of these options and you'll be taken to the business information section of your settings to make any changes you want to see. And that wraps it up for this overview on how to create a mobile info bar for your Squarespace website. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like and a comment if you did, and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. And if you're brand new to Squarespace, just getting started with setting up your website, I would love to teach you all about it. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash start to check out my course, Getting Started with Squarespace. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash start. Thanks again for watching this video and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Everything you need to know about Squarespace, all in one place, inside the square. I've taught thousands of Squarespacers how to create and customize their websites, and I'm ready to teach you. At insidethesquare.co forward slash start, you'll learn everything you need to know to build your brand new website using Squarespace. 
If you're a fan of step-by-step -step tutorials and PDFs packed full of important information, you're going to love it. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash start to get started. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash start.